We can now start counting the days down until the iPhone 12 launch event and we have heard leaks that the upcoming Apple event may not even have the iPhone 12 shown at it. I want to tell you all about these details, so here is my latest news about the Apple iPhone 12 release date and price with my latest iPhone 12 review of designs and specs. So if you want to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. It is now September and that means the iPhone 12 launch date is around the corner. The biggest news we've heard this week is the confirmed Apple event, but the iPhone 12 may not show up at this event. As I say every week, if you follow my channel already, you will know that I do a weekly video of the latest leaks and news we have found out this week for all you Apple fanboys and girls for the iPhone 12. Then after, I do a recap of such details of all the iPhone 12 model specs and the Apple iPhone 12 launch dates along with the iPhone 12 price we expect to pay for all the upcoming models. But first, before we go on any further, this channel has just hit 30,000 subscribers. So I'm so happy and really, really thrilled about that. And it's all thanks to you guys for all your support um, in watching these videos. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be making these videos. So I wanna give something back to one lucky subscriber, and that is this. It is an iPhone XR. It's the 128 gigabyte model. It comes in black, and I'm going to let one lucky subscriber get their hands on it, and I'm gonna tell you the details how you can possibly get this later on in the video, so stay tuned. Anyway, let's dive in on that latest iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro news. So since the iPhone 11, there's been lots of iPhone 12 leaks given, and if you want all those previous details, do check out my other iPhone 12 videos on this channel. They are worth a watch to get the latest leaks and information. So let's start with that Apple event, what is upcoming. Apple is holding a digital only full event on Tuesday, September the 15th, and this is normal timing for Apple. But this year's event may be different from other September events we have had in the past, because we might not even see a iPhone announcement. The current September 15th event features the tagline, time flies, that automatically indicates that there will be a focus on the Apple Watch Series 6 and also other news are saying that we will also see some new iPads including a new design iPad Air 4 and iPad Mini that might be in the same design as the iPad Pro. If you want to see some more details about this do check out my other videos on the iPads. However as I have also said in my previous iPhone videos it is looking far more likely that a second event is coming that is an iPhone focused event in October time. Don't get me wrong, the September show is still going to be a great show showing off the new iPads, Apple Watch and also some Apple Air tags. I for one will be watching this and I will be providing my live reaction to what is announced on here. So make sure you have subscribed to this channel to join me on the September 15th and I will be putting up some posts soon for more details. So that October iPhone event then, we have been informed that the event will be happening on week commencing October the 12th. We have been advised that another Apple product might be announced with it, so this could be the first Apple Silicon Chip Mac. But for the iPhone, we are expecting the normal iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Max releasing a week later after this event, so this is week commencing October the 19th. However, we have been informed, and it is quite understandable due to the pandemic, the Pro models of the iPhone 12. So this is the iPhone 12 Pro, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max will be coming out in November time, but no exact dates have been confirmed as of yet. As I have said in my previous videos, it isn't the first time Apple have announced an iPhone at an event, and for the actual release of the phone to come out a month or even two months later, like with the iPhone 10 or X or whatever you call it. 
So that giveaway I mentioned earlier, to be in for a chance to get the iPhone XR in that giveaway, make sure you have hit the subscribe button and the bell first. And then I want to know from you if you own an iPhone at the moment. What model do you have or maybe you prefer Android? I would love to know in the comments below what phone you have and what is going to be your next. With the latest Note 20 coming out and the soon to be iPhone 12 release, will either be on your shortlist? Let me know below to be in a chance and when we hit over 50,000 subscribers I will reveal the winner. So with those details about the Apple event and the release date out of the way, this is where I do a recap like in all my other iPhone 12 videos of everything we know about the iPhone 12 specs and price. So let's start with the standard iPhone 12. And this iPhone 12 is the smallest one that will come out this year. It has a 5.4 inch display and it will be an OLED display this time instead of an LCD display like we have had on the iPhone 11 and the iPhone XR and previous other iPhones as well. Its resolution comes in at 2340 by 1080. Now there has been rumours going around that all the iPhone 12s would have a 120Hz display. I'm afraid that is not the case here. It will only have a standard 60Hz display definitely on this iPhone 12. But though you will get 4 gigs of RAM inside this iPhone 12 with the options of 128 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes storage options. On top of that as well, you do get that A14 Bionic. This is Apple's newest A chip and it will have 5G connectivity. On top of that as well, the actual phone body will actually be made out of an aluminium body this time for this iPhone 12 and the next one we'll see in a mo. On the back, we have a very, very similar setup to the iPhone 11, where we'll have a dual camera setup. However, though, we have been told that the camera lenses will be changed this year to be better. On top of that as well, the battery inside the iPhone 12 will be a 2,227 milliamp battery. The base model is coming in at 699 US dollars, and that will give us the 4 gigs of RAM and the 128 gigabytes storage space inside. So the next iPhone is the iPhone 12 Max, not to be confused with the Pro Max, it's just 12 Max. And this iPhone will feature a bigger display than its little brother with a 6.1 inch OLED display. If you recognize 6.1, yes, that is the same display size as the iPhone 11 and the iPhone XR. This display, like I said, is an OLED display and it comes in at 2532 by 1170 pixels. Again, it will have a 60 hertz refresh rate as well. The specs are very similar to that 5.4 inch iPhone where you'll get 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs or 256 gigabytes storage options. Again, you get that brilliantly new A14 Bionic processor with 5G connectivity and that body for this iPhone will be made out of aluminium as well. For camera setup, like I said, on the other iPhone, it will be a dual camera setup, but we will see some new lens on it. For battery size, we get a 2,775 milliamp battery. The base model for this one is starting at 799 US dollars, and that will give you the four gigs of RAM and the 128 gigabyte storage option iPhone 12 Max. So those are the normal iPhone 12s as it were out of the way. We're now stepping into the Pro territory and the first iPhone 12 Pro we have is a 6.1 inch display iPhone 12 Pro. This is an increase on the 5.8 iPhone 11 Pro that came out in 2019. Again, it has an OLED display and again, it has that resolution of 2532 by 1170. Now, the next bit of information, we're getting conflicts. We have heard that the iPhones and all the iPhone 12s this year will have a 60 hertz display. However, we have heard other leaks as well. There's a possibility of 120 hertz, but no one can confirm which one is true and which one is not. So we'll just have to wait and see closer to the time. 
This iPhone though does come with 6 gigs of RAM, it comes with a choice of 128, 256 and a 512 gigabyte storage. Again it has the A14 Bionic with 5G connectivity, but the frame this time of this body of this iPhone is actually made out of stainless steel this time. On the back we will again get that triple camera set up and this time there is a possibility that we will have a lidar sensor this is the same sensor that is on the 2020 ipad pro again this information keeps conflicting that we will get this or not but we'll just have to wait and see on top of that as well we have a 2775 milliamp battery inside the same as the iphone 12 max and the base model is coming in at 999 us dollars for that 6 gigs of ram and the 128 gigabyte storage option finally we have the last one the beast we have the iphone 12 pro max and this iPhone comes in with a 6.7 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2778 by 1280. Again, we're unclear if it'll have the 60 hertz or the 120 hertz, just like the smaller Pro. And again, it comes with 6 gigs of RAM, the choice of 128, 256, or 512 gigabyte storage options. We get that A14 Bionic with 5G connectivity as well. And on top, we also get that lovely new stainless steel frame body. The camera setup is similar to the Pro. We will get that triple camera setup. And again, that conflict of knowing if we will get a LiDAR sensor or not. The battery inside this iPhone 12 Pro Max is a 3687 milliamp battery size. The base model is coming in at 1099 US dollars and that will give you the 6 gigabyte RAM model and 128 gigabyte storage. For ports on all the iPhones, they will feature a lightning connection, not a USB-C. Apple still believe that many iPhones require a lightning connection at the moment because there are still many accessories that require that. However though, inside the box of the new iPhone 12, you will get a lightning cable to USB-C end. And also as I have mentioned and I've rambled on before and I'm not going to do it this time, that is you will not be getting a charger inside the box with that cable and at the same time as well, no cabled AirPods either. Finally, it's also worth noting that this year all four iPhones will be IP68 at 4 meters of depth. So this means if you're going to go away with your iPhone and you chuck it into a swimming pool, it can survive up to 4 meters of depth clean water up to 30 minutes before any serious damage happens to the phone. However, I wouldn't really try doing this. Watch somebody else on YouTube who does have a lot of money to waste and also check out to see if the iPhone 12s will survive 4 meters of water. With all of that being said, are you excited about the iPhone 12 and will you be getting one? Let me know below what model you plan to buy. Well guys, that is the latest and greatest info we have on the iPhone 12 at this stage. If we do get any more info, of course we will share it with you. Don't forget if you like this video to press that like button and of course to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, please do hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. Until next time guys, see ya.